so the last photo this ice cream shop posted to their Instagram was this flavor of ice cream. So that was the exact flavor we had to order and eat. And that's how it's gonna be working everywhere we go tonight. We'll give you the full rundown while we eat this. All right, let's give it a shot. Blueberry coffee cake ice cream. Oh, that is good, wow. We have until midnight to eat at as many restaurants as possible, but orders depend on their most recent Instagram activity. The blueberry flavor is on point. And the amount of like sugary crumb pieces in here is insane. Yeah. This is speaking both heavy to blueberry and coffee cake. I'm obsessed with it. It is incredible. Rule one is that we can only order and eat the most recent food items posted to each restaurant's feed. This first stop was the one exception going with their latest story upload as we saw the Creamery's post a few hours earlier. And rule two is that we can't check what we'll be ordering until we're on our way to that spot. Now, regular viewers of this channel know that blueberry muffins are like my favorite food in the world, so that might be my new favorite plank of ice cream. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah, we got lucky with how that started too. I don't think that we're going to be that lucky at every stop we go to. But what a great way to start. Ready to move on? Let's do it. Friday night, so the lines are probably gonna be pretty long everywhere. Could I get two falafel wraps with everything on it? They gave us some free samples. You guys have a good one. Thank you. Those had to have been the nicest people of all time. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, guys. But the only problem is we have to find somewhere to eat this. Right enough, you think? Right here? Yeah. Maybe. It is gonna be loud, but... So we've acquired our two falafel wraps with everything on them. Unfortunately, we aren't able to sit in the restaurant, so we're posting up outside. It might be a little loud. This thing is literally the size of my forearm. Yeah. This isn't gonna look like much up close. We'll show you a closer shot once we start eating it a little bit. Just show them how big it is. It's huge. We're at another local spot because rule three is that we're only allowed to visit one chain restaurant during the challenge. That last video was a lot of chains. Check this out. You've got this super crispy fried falafel, got pickles, banana peppers, onions, some super creaminess happening from the tahini. This thing's epic. Now, after filming this video, we posted a number of Instagram stories with questions involving the foods we had to order throughout this experience. And out of roughly 450 people who responded to this question, 36% have never even had a falafel wrap. These pockets feature crispy deep fried falafel, fatty sauces, and acidic fresh veggies. You've got to try one. We got lucky. We got lucky with that being the photo. Yeah, the luck of the draw has been in our favor. Both first stops so far. Yeah, seriously, but I am really looking forward to getting off of this noisy street. It is way too loud. One of our favorite cookie shops is close by, so we're gonna have to check what the last photo they posted was and go acquire that. I feel bad about anyone that we have to talk to after that. Oh, uh, this would have been way quieter. Jeez. That would have been this, that should have been the spot. Oh well. This might be a further walk than I was expecting. Always further away than you say it's gonna be. This is the Feed the Cheeks banana pudding cookie, and they're nice enough to let us actually eat it in here. Is it okay if we just film ourselves eating it right here? Let's give it a shot. Ooh, I wasn't expecting white chocolate chips in it. We didn't even check the description on the walk over. The amazing thing about this experience is the fact that this is not a cookie flavor that I would have personally purchased. I was wanting the coffee cake flavor. Oh, yeah. the coffee can but I'm forced into trying it, and it's excellent. So soft, buttery, and gooey. I can't even believe how good this is. A nice, subtle banana. Mm -hmm. Little vanilla wafer in there. Yeah. White chocolate chips. Excellent. 
Based on our community, 80% of people would gravitate towards a banana pudding cookie, which is much more than we were expecting for some reason. I could eat a dozen more of those. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Dude, that was amazing. Holy cow. I want to go there again. Want to do Cecilia's next? What are we getting there? We all will have to stop and, uh, let's stop and check their Instagram now so we can place an order. I'm devastated. I am devastated. We have been looking forward to returning to our favorite pizza shop for quite some time. And then we are left to find this as their most recent post on Instagram. A ham and olive deep dish pizza. Two things I would never get in a deep dish. Hi, I was wondering if I could place an order to come dine in. Okay, could, I got you right here. Could I get a stuffed pizza with ham and black olives? It's gonna be that in 30 minutes. Thank you so much. I don't know how I did this. We probably just eliminated a stop from the trip strictly because I'm an idiot. This was a huge lapse in judgment. It's going to take us an hour to find parking. All right, so here it is. Let's try this ham and olive pizza. It doesn't look like it did in the photo, but it's what they gave us. Look how much cheese this is. Look how much cheese that is. I think we can eat this with our hands. Not bad. I actually don't mind the ham in it at all. It's the olives. I hate olives. I'm not a big fan of ham on pizza, but I'm gonna eat a little bit more. Between the two, olives are definitely the more controversial topping with a nearly 50-50 split here. You know what? I quite like it. It is growing on me. The thing is, the pizza crust on their pizza is so buttery, it's so pastry-like, and there is so much cheese on it that it's hard not to like it. Well, a lot of people don't like deep dish pizza because of how heavy it is, but it's perfect for freaks like us who can never seem to fill up. Is that even fun, guys? Great, thank wonderful. You. Thank you so much. Twins. Twins. Mm -hmm. oh, You're goddamn right. Oh, we won't need it. Oh, no? <laughs> no, thank you. Again, it's always moments like that that remind us of how abnormal our eating abilities are. We're a different breed. It's just hard not to like something with this much cheese, and then the crust is like a biscuit, if that helps describe it for you guys. And I like how they did like a sheet of the ham. The picture on Instagram, it was all kind of like pieces of ham that were kind of like put on top. Like I said, it's grown on me a lot. Yep. As far as ham goes, apparently we're in the minority with the 32% of voters not vibing with ham on their pizza. We kind of expected this one though, with the whole ham and pineapple pizza advocates out there. It's not our thing, but hey, more ham for the 68% of you. One last shot. I think they've seen it enough at this point. Whoever created this order for the photo that was taken on their Instagram, I think I must have asked for it without the red sauce. But with the sauce, it's amazing. So I guess it's a little bit different, but I really like it. Yeah, with the red sauce, it still spoke somewhat to our typical straight cheese and tomato deep dish order, just with some what we feel to be unnecessary add-ins, but we anticipated it being much worse, but we would also still never order it again. I'm pleasantly surprised. I enjoyed that thoroughly. I have to clean this lens. That was a very chaotic drive. All right, ready? Okay, that was a very chaotic drive for a very salty pizza. So we found somewhere quiet, and now we're gonna do something sweet. We are completely flipping that experience on its head. Yeah, before we go to the next restaurant, we've got Buholtz Brownies who sent us their box of July Blondie flavors. We're gonna try each of them. Of course, starting off with their most recent Instagram post being the red, white, and lemon. I believe this is a lemon blondie with blueberries, honey, white chocolate, a crumb topping, and I believe lemon Oreos in there. All right, let's give this thing a shot. These things are soft, man. Whoa, that's lemon all right. The crumb topping is unbelievably buttery. It's so moist. There's nothing dry about this. It reminds me of a lemon blueberry crumb cake. It does have that slight 
breakfast bread quality, but it is absolutely delicious. I think I'd go 7.8. Yep, but the sugar crumb topping, having that granulated sugar texture being contrasted by the super creamy white chocolates is excellent. Yeah. Now next up, we have this apple pie one. Now this is probably the softest blondie I have ever held in my life. This thing is gooey as could possibly be. Yeah, I believe it's a cinnamon blondie base filled with apple pie, topped with white chocolate chips, cinnamon sugar. All right, let's try it. Oh man, oh, ho, ho. there it is. Oh. That's got the decadence. This has the, got the buttery gooey thing that I have been dying for. 10. Can we just go 10 on it? Go 10 on it. 10. I'm cool with it. Oh. Listen, we've eaten a lot of blondies. And surprisingly, from a lot of these gourmet companies, we tend to prefer their brownies. The blondies almost always end up a bit cake-like. This is what I'm looking for. All right, we have to keep moving though. Now next up, we're gonna be trying the strawberry cheesecake. This is a strawberry cheesecake blondie filled with a strawberry roll topped with crumb topping, white chocolate chips, strawberry drizzle. It's got a ton of stuff in there. I must say, I absolutely love the fact that every single one of these has white chocolate chips on it. That makes me happy. Let's try it. Of them hitting the richness. It's hitting, hitting that buttery, brown sugary note in the actual blondie base, the strawberries popping against it. So much sweetness from the white chocolate chips. Plenty of texture from that crumb topping. Man, Buholtz, you're killing it. 9.9, 10. Are we going two tens in one are we, box? Are we going two tens in one box? Yeah. Guys, um, we're not kidding around here. Go look at our Instagram. We've tried plenty of blondies. All right, double tens. Now next up, we've got the cinnamon roll, which we put a poll on Instagram and nearly everyone voted that this is the one that they would want to try. Yeah, this blondie's filled with a brown cinnamon sugar Pop-Tart. It is topped with a cream cheese frosting, cinnamon roll glaze, white chocolate chips, and it looks like a plentiful amount of cinnamon. All right, let's give it a shot. This is nailing cinnamon. I love the cream cheese frosting on top, but I do think that it is a touch too dense for me. It does return to a little bit of the cakey blondie. I feel like this is like you took a couple of like uh, Cinnabon cinnamon rolls and put them under a steamroller. I think that if you warmed this one up, it would probably bring out the buttery nature of it and maybe soften it a little bit more and it might be a little bit more enjoyable. But I think that as is, I'd probably go like, 8.5? Yeah, I'd say 8.5 is fair. These are awesome. I can't speak on behalf of their brownies because this was an entire box of blondies, but as far as blondies go, this might be one of the best packs that we've been given, which is pretty wild. We'll make sure to leave a link to Buholtz brownies for you guys to check out in the description box of this video. Thank you for sending these to us, Buholtz brownies, but given the time it is right now, I think that we can squeeze in one more place. Did you just want to eat some? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, sir. This is running. So, so if I call my GM and I pack because we don't do it. Essentially what just happened, the pancake tacos are only available earlier in the day. We don't do it until it ends at nine. We tried ordering them and it is 11.50 p.m. They don't have them right now. So we were gonna order the second most recent photo on the IHOP Instagram, but. So if I call my GM, see if we can do the effort to do the pancake tacos for you guys. He said that's fine. We don't want to be inconvenient though. Okay. Inconvenient. He said that's fine. That's so sweet. So here's the menu. We didn't ask her to do that. That's way too cool. What's your name? Because we're going to at least mention you as Jenny. Video. Spam the comments with, we love you, Jenny. All right, so here they are. All of the IHOP pancake tacos. We're going to start with the breakfast ones. They've got bacon and sausage and eggs and cheese. Actually, it looks pretty sick. The savory ones look wild. Let's give it a shot, see how it is. I'm going to go syrup on this. Yep. Plate. That one benefits from the syrup. You're better off ordering a breakfast plate over this one. It's exactly what you would expect. Everyone's got strawberry ones? Mm -hmm. Again, looking pretty good, and we got some bacon on it. That's more like it. They put a little granola on this. It would taste like you put a parfait on a pancake. I do wish for cheesecake that it was a little bit less yogurty and a little bit more like cream cheesy. I get it, but I really like it. It is very good. Now this thing looks sick. This is like fried chicken and gravy with like pickles and cheese. It looks sick in person. Oh. 
Holy cow, IHOP, you nailed it. That is incredible. It is salty as can possibly be, but with the sweet pancake, and then the chicken is crispy, and then you've got the soft pancake. Everything about this is so good. If you love breakfast and you love a good chicken sandwich, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Now this was the least voted on between all the tacos, yet by far the best. It was hash browns mm -hmm. on that bottom one. We should have read the descriptions beforehand. We saw the picture on Instagram. That's all we needed to know. Yeah. All right, let's try the banana ones. Everyone knows that caramel caramel is like our favorite thing in the world. That's another hit. Everything you want it to be. French mad banana. The banana's nice and ripe. Chocolate chips adding a bunch of flavor, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of bite. It's definitely the softest of all of them, but I do enjoy it. So now, how are we gonna split rock, paper, scissors? Shoot. Oh, I got it. Nate gets the fried chicken. Let me show it one more time because this thing is so good. I'm gonna sauce this bad boy up. This one doesn't even need it. Look at Nate bragging over the win, but a game of rock, paper, scissors is as fair as it gets. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It all evened out. Banana got less votes, but we both preferred it over the strawberry. I think the only one I was in between on was like just a regular breakfast one. The other ones were great. They were right. The fried chicken one. More water? Chris, you guys all of them? Oh yeah. <laughs> we can put it back. I'm sure. We can put it back. Maybe no. That's all makeup. Are you kidding? Oh, are you kidding? Oh my god. Thank you so much. Guys, we were being treated like royalty on an IHOP. At 12.30 in the morning. I don't know what, I to, don't say. Know what to say. So we've got two milkshakes. What I'm assuming to be strawberry and Oreo. We got free falafels. We're getting milkshakes right now. Oh. They're both good, but this strawberry one is slaying. Fortunately, I was gravitating towards the Oreo milkshake. We're coming back to IHOP. Comment IHOP if you want a massive IHOP video. We'll come here and eat like everything in the world. As far as milkshake flavors go, Oreo put strawberry to shame, taking 73% of the votes. Pure annihilation. We're gonna embarrass ourselves. This day wasn't supposed to be a 10K challenge, but I guess it's becoming one because of this IHOP experience. <laughs> Okay, so before we were so generously given those milkshakes, we thought it would be a funny idea to order the photo we almost had to eat. All right, you know what? You've been so great. We'll order one more thing. We'll order the, uh, the double burger. Which means IHOP just became one massive nightcap. Check this out. It got these new double blueberry pancakes. So we ordered the entire stack of these. We're gonna split them, but geez, am I full now. Let's, <laughs> wow. Let's end this night. All right, you take the flavor. We'll cut these on. Ooh, these are ripping. Whoa, look at that. That is like a blueberry overload. I'm gonna butter them up nice. Oh, yeah. So we started on something blueberry and we're ending on something blueberry. <laughs> look at that. It all came full circle. Oh, that is an ultimate blueberry pancake. Wow. Tell you what, man, I've been wanting a really good stack of pancakes, and I think this is about as good as it gets. All that butter, all that syrup, and that is the most unbelievably epic amount of blueberries you could possibly get. And these are perfect blueberries. Yes. Now this was a close one, but out of nearly 500 responses, chocolate chip edges out blueberry with 56% of voters choosing chocolate chip as the superior pancake stack. We tend to be with the majority on this one, but you really can't go wrong with either. I am stuffed. Yeah, I did not expect to leave IHOP absolutely messed. So I think the coolest part about tonight was the fact that besides the first location, I don't think that I would have ordered anything that we purchased today, and I loved nearly all of it. Yeah, so I guess the moral of the story is get outside of your comfort zone and try something new. For some of you, that would mean liking this video and leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel. I guess we'll see you in the next one. So we just want to end with the piece instead of...